Be Sister Maria, repent you of the Black Sepulchre. It's a morbid irony that an event such as a wedding should end in such bloodshed. Hundreds of thousands have met their deaths, pious souls and foul heretic alike. Our dead sisters sit at the Emperor's side, and while we feel joy at knowing that they are now in the light of our Lord, the world will be worse for their absence. The matrimonial city is ruined. The efforts of its denizens reduced to naught but rubble and ash blowing on the wind. They plan to rebuild, but it is a futile exercise, whether by the machinations of the heretics, the invasions of Xenos, the corruption of warp spawn, or the simple passage of time, it will all be reduced to dust again. Look upon my works, ye mighty and despaired astropath, and yet in spite of this, there will be celebrations tonight. Loud rejoicing in the city at the union of two pious souls, or drinking with one's comrades, laughing in disbelief at one's survival, or maybe just a quiet evening sharing poetry with a friend. In a universe shrouded in darkness, humanity still dares to shine, if only for an instant. Life is a fleeting illusion, and we are all already dead. Yet I can think of no illusion more beautiful or terrible to behold. One might as well enjoy the theater while it lasts. The advantage of writing as a pretentious gothic is that you don't need to worry about being a pretentious faggot. Be me, Scout Marine Zhang. Somehow be not stepped on by a tight. Somehow be still alive. Be pissed because apparently victory celebrations are for chapters that people know about. Worse, now have actual battle companies of the purple stars landing on planet. And a whole bunch of those fucking black clad librarians. They kinda remind me of those black clad sisters. Topcake.fox. So they come in here and I have to report and they all nod and look serious and it's all, hmm, yes, the work of chaos. No fucking shit, you cockmonglers. What tipped you off? The fucking flaming blood cannons? I swear, this is what the guys do. They have schmucks like me schlep around looking for chaos. Then when we run into it, they claim that they foresaw where we were supposed to go. The worst thing is we totally do it so we can be actual brothers. My actual brothers are cocks, though. I prefer hanging out with the scouts. The Council of Librarians we have here claim this planet has a great and terrible destiny. Yada yada, battleground of all forces of chaos. They go do some alchemy shit or whatever and cast their portents. I am way beyond giving a shit. Fucking psychers. The Princeps Majoris Mannerheim march the ice giants back into position guarding the city. That was fucking rad as fuck, guys. I fucking cut off a traitor titan's head with my giant chain blade, and there were fucking huge ass tyranids everywhere. That feeling when you wrestled a bio titan dot vox. God, that was amazing. Everyone, we're drinking vodka tonight until we go blind. Be Marcus. Be having a cold one with the boys. And some girls. You know, I'm honestly surprised I'm even allowed back in this bar after what happened last time. I guess they must have seen that it wasn't my fault. Either that or they just didn't recognize me. Everyone's having a good time. Lloyd is telling some of the Greener Guard and PDF boys about how he single-handedly tracked and captured the rogue space marine dust bunny and daringly diffused his cyclonic torpedo. The funniest part is that some of them are actually buying it. The Karis is drunkenly trying and failing to play darts. Even Festus looks happy, and he looked about ready to snap before the end of all of this. It's amazing what a good night's sleep, a shower, and not being subjected to a constant war zone will do for you. You know, maybe I've been a little hard on him. I mean, sure, I give him a hard time, but as our technically leader, he hasn't done all that bad of a job. I mean, hell, last time I was in charge, I almost got us all killed via Baneblade. Well, the Karis has passed out. Guess that's our cue to leave. Festus gets up, 
Sorry, sisters, but it seems Marcus and I are going to have to leave now. We've got to take this lightweight back home. Wouldn't want to miss his first hangover. Hey, Lloyd, stop spinning yarns and get your ass over here. We're leaving, but I haven't even got to the climax yet. You can make up some even more outrageous bullshit for next time. While we're carrying the car us out of the bar, we realize something important. None of us remembered to bring our Vox communicators. None of the public transportation has been built yet. Shit, guess we're walking through the dark, dangerous city. Good thing we're not too drunk to aim this time. Gonna have to pick up Phil, too. Shit, where do these goth girls hang out anyways? 